Hi, this is Ty. In this video, I'll show you a quick and easy way to create this effect in Photoshop. First, place any image you like on the canvas. In this case, the image is smaller than the canvas, so select the polygonal lasso tool and draw around the empty area. Once you've made the selection, click Generate Fill. Don't type anything in the prompt, just click Generate. Photoshop gives us three options. Pick the one you like best. I think this one looks good. Now select both the generated layer and the original image layer and convert them into a smart object. To select multiple layers, hold down Command on Mac or Control on Windows while clicking the layers. Let's make it a bit larger. Then duplicate this smart object layer. If you're using a Mac, press Command D. If you're on Windows, press Control D. This shortcut is super useful, so be sure to remember it. Next, hide the top layer by clicking the eye icon, then select the layer below. Go to the Filter menu, choose Blur, and then Gaussian Blur. Apply a soft blur. This looks about right. Next, still on the same layer, Open the filter menu again, this time choose Noise, and select Add Noise to add some texture. Just a little bit of noise is enough. When we zoom in, it looks nice. I like how it turned out. Now, create a new layer above the one we just edited. Use the Rectangle tool to draw a box around the area you want to highlight. Make sure the rectangle has a white outline. Adjust the thickness until it looks good. Next, make the top image layer visible again. Hold down Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and click between the image layer and the rectangle layer to create a clipping mask. Now, use the Line tool to draw a cross inside the rectangle. Make sure the line thickness is the same as the rectangle frame we created earlier. You can duplicate the first line by pressing Command D on Mac or Control D on Windows, and then rotate it. If you hold Shift while rotating, it'll snap perfectly to 90 degrees. Since the two lines are on separate layers, hold down Command if you're on a Mac or Control if you're on Windows, and click both layers to select them. Then press Command and E on a Mac or Control and E on Windows to merge them into one layer. To perfectly center the cross inside the rectangle, select both the cross and the rectangle layers. From the alignment icons in the top menu bar, click Align Horizontal Centers and Align Vertical Centers. That's all you need to perfectly center the layers. Adjust the size of the cross if needed. This size just looks right. Finally, add your text next to it. And below that, add the date and time. And with that, design is complete. How was it? Pretty easy, right? Subscribe for more creative tutorials. You'll find me on Instagram and TikTok, and my posters are available for purchase too. All the links are in the description. Thanks for watching. See you next week.